Hey guys, welcome to Laws and Mods new YouTube channel. Uh, I'd like to welcome you all for the first time. Some of you that's never seen our products before. Uh, some of you may have. I'm not sure. Um, we're going to start doing product demo videos of some of the controllers that we send out. Uh, I've been getting a couple questions uh, about what they look like, how to use them just general questions so today and uh, really from now on we're going to start doing some product demos on our controllers and showing you uh, some of the features about them, how they work uh, try to answer any questions that you have uh, the next upcoming video we're going to have uh, our 20 mode rapid fire we'll show you how to do that go through all the modes on it, the drop shot um, start out with this is a mailing controller and uh, you can see it's got clear thumbsticks. It's got a 7 mode rapid fire in it. Um, you can see the workmanship of the controller. Sticker still there. Back sticker still there. Barcode, Xbox barcode still there. All the T8 screws, nothing scratched. You can, I just want to show you all uh, about our company's craftsmanship. We really take our time with each one of your controllers and you get your controller back in pristine condition. Um, you can see there's this controller was mailed into us and it was just about perfect to begin with and you can see we've not done anything uh, to flaw it or take away from the look of this controller. Right here's the battery pack. Um, I'm going to show you what happens when you put in your battery pack. You won't be able to see it with the lights on. Uh, you may be able to get just a hint of it but we have purple LEDs for the thumbsticks blue guide button and green ring of light and it's going to sync to my Xbox here in just a second so it'll quit flashing here in just a second there we go but uh... I'll turn the light off here in just a second so that way you can see the purple thumbsticks I think those are really cool in this controller, this black controller hang on just a second I'll get the overhead lights for you. There you go. As you can see this controller has the purple thumbsticks. It's got the blue guide button. I don't know if you can see it really well. I'll try to get it better focused in the camera there. Show you a 360 view of it here. You can see the thumbsticks actually glow instead of just being uh, lit from either underneath, directly underneath, or on the sides. We put uh, a total of about eight LEDs in here to get this to light up really nice for you. And as you can see in this video, I hope uh, thumbsticks really stand out, especially with new batteries. Uh, you might blind yourself if you're playing in the dark. But uh, let me get the lights back here on here again. There we go. Uh, the pad, you know, it still just as good, it works just as good. Um, guide button, even though uh, it has the blue LEDs in it, it still works. You can hear it click. Start, select, A, B, X, Y. Uh, they're fine. Bumpers, you can hear them. Triggers, nothing squeaks. So, our controllers are top notch controllers. Okay, I'm going to show you about the seven mode rapid fire. If you can see right here. This is where your indicator would be. And this is strictly 7 mode rapid fire. And you can see there's no added buttons on the back of the controller anywhere. So this is stealth rapid fire. And how you switch modes is you press the synchronize button. So if you press it one time, you can see it flash. That tells you that you're in mode 1. Pressed again, mode 2. Pressed again. Mode 3, Mode 4, Mode 5, 6, 7, and then one more turns it off. So as you can see, thumbsticks still work. And that's all there is to the rapid fire on the 7 mode. You just cycle and uh, pick which mode you like best. Uh, I believe for Black Ops, it's Mode 4 that a bunch of the players use. Um, mode 7 is actually a 3 
three round burst so if you want to have your gun sped up pistol whatever you use sped up to a three round burst and then stop and you have to pull the trigger again to get it to fire another three rounds uh, that mode would be for you um, I'm trying to think what else we've got with our controller I think that's just about it turn the lights off one more time in case you missed uh, the guide button there and the thumbsticks let me get it try to focus it in here there we go as you can see they they turn freely nothing no restrictions I guess I'll show you a little demo here as soon as I can get the camera there adjusted back on my TV screen and I'll uh, show you a little demo of the 7 mode rapid fire alright guys I'm going to show you here that I've got the rapid fire controller it's the same one you see the purple thumbsticks blue guide button we're going to play a little Call of Duty Black Ops here and show you the rapid fire as you can see right now the player one LED is the only one on so we have no more rapid fire mode selected right now you can see if you scope in pull the trigger it just fires one time reload here if you press the synchronize button player one LED comes on and mode one is a Kimbo mode so if you pull the left trigger you can see the gun start to jitter so if, you're, if you've got a weapon like this that's not a Kimbo it's a bad idea to use mode number one I'll show you mode two right there it's two round bursts for black ops mode three doesn't really work with black ops mode 4 does so you get to mode 4 okay can show you mode 5 doesn't really do anything with black ops mode 6 a slow rapid fire and then mode 7 is the three round burst Okay, and that's all for the 7 mode rapid fire. Press it one more time, the LED goes off. So now you're just in regular mode with the rapid fire off. You can see you can still jump, crouch, switch weapons, throw a grenade, flash, aim, shoot. You can press the up button, claymores, plant those. So the controller's functionality is still intact. I hope this tutorial has helped you a little bit. And uh, if you all have any questions, you can email us at support at teamlaza.com. It's S-U-P-P-O-R-T at T-E-A-M-L-A-Z-A dot com. Uh, any of our support staff can help you. Um, if you have any quick questions you would need to answer over the phone, you can call us. It's a one two seven six two seven five eight six eight six. Uh, calls are forward forwarded to my personal cell phone at night, so you'll get me more than likely if it's after six o'clock. And uh, if you all need any any help, just give us a call, send us an email. We'll be glad to help you. And uh, keep checking back on our new channel for future modding videos and next should be the 20 mode rapid fire so stay tuned for that thanks bye